Hello everyone, Marwans here. Welcome to the first Chef Mars kitchen video. Today I'm gonna be cooking uh, something that I found from the Tasty app. The link for this recipe is provided in the description for this video. Right now what I'm doing first is cooking uh, the onions with the olive oil until they're soft and then we could add the chicken. For the recipe they just said you could add salt and pepper to the chicken but I wanted more flavor so I'm adding black pepper in there along with the salt of course and then I'm gonna be adding onion powder, garlic powder as well and last but not least I will be adding my most favorite Italian seasoning. I love this stuff. In a medium high heat uh, I'm cooking the chicken just stirring it here and there um, looking to make sure it's cooked fully and waiting for it to get a little bit brown and you know just keep stirring it up and then you can move on to the next step look at that bad boy it looks good already and it smells fantastic <laughs> Then shortly, you're gonna add garlic. This is about three cloves of garlic. And then just stir it for a little bit. And then we're gonna let it cook for an additional minute. Then I'm adding chicken broth. Two cups of chicken broth. This will elevate the flavor as well. And then uh, pouring the entire package of the penny pasta. You could add obviously any pasta you like. Then just give it a nice stir, like so. There you go. Make sure it's all covered. And then you're gonna cover it and you gotta lower the heat all the way to low setting and let it simmer for 20 minutes. This has been simmering for 20 minutes. Then stir it again and you're gonna let it cook for an additional 5 minutes or until the pasta is soft, fully cooked. For me, it actually took longer than 5 minutes for the pasta to get soft and fully cooked. So this is me just waiting and waiting probably took approximately an additional like 15 minutes or so and this looks perfect this looks ready to go so now the fun begins here I am adding lemon just about like three tablespoons of lemon and then you add spinach in there you could add you know, as much as you want or just enough to fill up the pot and then you gotta stir it stir that first until the, the spinach, uh, it wilts basically, you know, from the heat. So you just gotta keep stirring and stirring. And then here I am adding cream cheese, about three ounce worth, and mozzarella cheese. The mozzarella cheese, they say like half a cup. Uh, I just went ahead and I added this entire package in there. It's probably like almost a cup worth along with Parmesan cheese. That one's a half a cup as well, but again, probably like a cup's worth. I like mine like really, really, really cheesy. This part was a little bit of a pain, I'll be honest. Uh, just constantly stirring and stirring. I think it even got to the point when it was cooling a little bit because even the spinach wasn't wilting, but I kept at it. I even turned up the heat a little bit, just like on the low setting to help but you just gotta keep stirring and stirring. Look at this, look how amazing that looks right there. Nice, yes. Keep stirring until all that cheese covers the entire dish, melts, makes it like creamy like texture. And this is the final result. That looks so good. Serve that with garlic bread, whatever you like, and 
that's the dish. It was really flavorful, tasty. For me, like the chicken had more flavor because I wanted to add more seasonings to it. So you could add whatever seasonings you like. And that's the one pot cheesy lemon chicken pasta. I really enjoyed it, the fam loved it. I hope you will like it as well. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.